and it, it was, you know, I, I, I've been with Dean for so long now that I, I feel like he's he's been in every kind of crappy situation you could be in. He's been in, he's been happy, he's been sad, he's been heartbroken, he's been angry, he's been tormented, he's been tortured. He's been, you know, there's been so many different uh, facets of this character that I've been able to play over the past nine years. So the fact that I get to really play a new character that is embodied inside this character was a bit of a, you know, it got a bit heady for me. I was like, okay, how am I going to do this again? Um, I probably should ask Jared for some pointers because he does it all the time with Sam. But, uh, I went, I, because I was coming right out of a hiatus to do it, I had to really kind of prepare myself. And, and um, so I just, I tried to think of the obvious thing to do, which is, I think would have been to go dark and to go really dark and really brooding and evil. And I'm like, no, that's the obvious choice. I don't want to do that. Uh, and I talked with Jeremy about it and he's like, yeah, let's go the opposite. Let's, let's, let's go like carefree and fun loving and who, who gives a shit. And I'm like, yeah, I like that. Let's do that. <laughs> so, uh, so it was fun to play that. It was fun to play because uh, there's so much heart to Dean and there's so much weight that he carries around all the time. He's got to protect his brother. He's, he's got to save everybody that he can. He's, he's got to do it, and he's, you know, or he doesn't feel right. To throw all that away, to throw all that guilt and all that pressure and all that anxiety and all the, the you know, the, the, the tormented kind of uh, responsibility that the dean puts on himself to be able to just dish that and be like, it was really fun. Playing the same character for so long, and now you're on ten seasons, but they keep it, yeah, they're fresh. So is that kind of why you continue to resign and want to kind of keep doing the show? Yeah, and I think you know we've talked about it with you know not just Jared, but with with Jeremy, with with Bob, and with you know the creators, the producers, and it's like the show's not stale for us. Um, you know, we only hope that we can continue to make it, uh, continue to, to keep it not stale for not only us but for the audience as well. Uh, you know, we still, because the show continues to evolve, the story continues to evolve, the characters continue to evolve, uh, it really has been, you know, it's not like we're doing and nothing against procedural shows or cop dramas, but it's not like I'm coming in and reading the same kind of dialogue in a lab every Tuesday and Thursday to the same camera guys, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Every day is different. So, so every day is different. Can you preview a little bit about what's coming now that Sam and Dean are back together? Um, is just, even though Dean kind of, you know, did not want to ransom, you know, pay the ransom for his brother and stuff, does he still care about him in any way? Yeah, I think we're going to see, uh, I think for the last couple of years, the brothers have been really kind of at odds. Um, you know, Dean's been really kind of uh, tormented with, with saving the planet. He's, he went to the ends of, of getting the mark of Cain also, almost in a sacrificial way. Um, you know, which really kind of separated the brothers and really kind of made the brothers. There was a lot of turmoil between them. I think now is the first time in a couple of years, a couple of seasons, that the brothers are brothers again. And even though there are issues, there's the issue of the mark of pain, there's the issue that Sam's dealing with, the fact that, you know, the things that he had to do in order to find his brother when he was a demon are things that he's, are, might be keeping him up at night. Um, but at the end of the day, they're back together and they're back together in a brotherly way. So you're going to get the jerk and the bitch, you know, scenario again. And I, I'm really happy for that. I think, I think he's happy about it. I think the fans will enjoy it. They've been waiting a long time for it. Um, you know, how long that'll last, that's a lot. I don't know.